Hello everyone, this is Jason from 4 Hammer Gaming, back with our playthrough of Age of Empires 4. So we're going to continue with the next mission, 1382 Hold Against the Horde. Unfortunately I have to restart this mission because I did not hold out against the Horde last time. Hopefully we can do so this time. On the morning of September 8th, 1380, at Kulikovo, the Moscow-led Rus' army defeated the Mongols for the first time. You're welcome. One of the key battles of the medieval age, it was a transformative event in the rise of Moscow as the future capital of Russia. For the first time, rival principalities had joined Moscow to fight a common enemy. Now, many Rus' principalities began to see themselves as one. Future leaders of Moscow would draw on the memory of this battle to claim their supreme political position in Russia. State to Empire. Moscow's Grand Prince, Dmitry Ivanovich, had led the Rus' principalities to victory over the Mongols, reinforcing his dominance. But for the Mongols' leadership, the defeat at the Battle of Kulikovo was disastrous. The ruler of their Golden Horde was overthrown by a descendant of Genghis Khan. His name was Toktamish. And Toktamish was not going to let the treacherous Moscow-led Rus get away with rebellion. Well, we'll see. Two years after their defeat at Kulikovo, Toktamish's Golden Horde set out to attack Moscow. The city had not felt the wrath of the Mongols for more than a century. That was about to change. Okay, hold against the horde. 1382. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Racing to brace the gates of Moscow, Prince Dmitri and his army of Rus allies rushed into the fortified heart of the city. This would be the greatest test of Moscow's mighty stone walls. But could the capital hold out against the furious legion of the Golden Horde? Well, we're about to find out. Keep the Mongols out of the city. All right. The Muscovites had already faced many Mongol attacks on their city and knew the horde would arrive in vast numbers. The race to fortify Moscow began. Okay, there we go. Okay. I think I'm gonna. Yeah, no point in having all these peasants out here. I'm gonna just bring them in. Okay, build a few more peasants. Okay, gonna have you start constructing buildings. So that's, let's see, stable, archery, barracks. Okay. Okay, you're gonna build more archery ranges. Uh, yes. Okay, over there. All over there. Okay, excellent. Next, I'm gonna build a 
Hunting cabin right here. Okay, and let's... Okay. I'm gonna build a lot of farms. So I can build a big army, but also... Also, so I can sell the food if I need more gold. As Dimitri urgently prepared the city's defenses, fleeing villagers from nearby towns flooded into Moscow. Think I need a blacksmith? Desperately seeking refuge from the rapidly approaching Mongol army. That's fine. The Mongols had long used the tactic of allowing survivors to escape from one sack town and flee to the next. Word of their brutal raids would spread, striking terror into the heart of their enemy. Do you have anybody else? Uh, you know, I'll just leave you out there. I know it seems cruel, but they're doing good work right now. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna s advance to the castle age. Abbey of the Trinity. Let's build this. Okay, let's start. The from the settlements surrounding Moscow had all arrived at the city. They would wait out the Mongol assault behind Moscow's stone walls. Okay, you can come here. Alright, time to build some defenses. But first, I have to. You all help build this so we can advance to the castle age more quickly. Gonna build more archers. That one's almost built. Sweet. Hearing the thunderous beat of the Mongol war drums on the horizon, Dmitri rallied his men to hold their ground. If the stone walls were breached, the city would fall. Okay. Whoops. Need that there. Okay, time to build stone barriers everywhere. I mean, stone towers. Okay, right there. <laughs> Fortunately, I have to let my outlying uh, barns burn down. No uh, point in trying to save them. Okay. 
Oops. The Mongol torches made short work of Moscow's wooden palisades. And now, the old stone walls were all that stood between Dmitri and defeat. I think that's good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna... S Actually, you know, I'll have you cut down. I have peasants all over the place because I need them to repair. Whoops. Okay, let's build. Builds. Okay, now I need more houses because I forgot that my outlying houses were going to be torched. Build a lot of houses because they're quickly being demolished by the the Mongol army. Okay, what do I need? Need a lot of stone. Just in a couple more houses. I'm gonna have a few more of you build some farms. Have you chop wood? Okay, gotta take care of those battering rams. back.
Ugh, gonna still need more houses. Should just quickly save here. Give me one sec. Definitely need a lot more cavalry because I need something that can quickly go to different places. Okay. Oh, do we have a battering ram? Yep, yes we do. Sell, 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 sell food. Buy more stone. Anything needs to be repaired. Not right now. Whoops, actually, no, not you. Gonna build a few more peasants so they can gather wood here. Let's see, do I need anything prepared? Yes. Let's see. 
Больше хлеба ради. A new threat arrived at Moscow's gates. The Mongols rolled in their mightiest siege engines. Assuming they're trebuchets. It's probably their trebuchets. Yeah, run back, run back. Dang it, do I have a... With the heartbeat of Mongol war drums closing in, the Rus knew the horde would not relent. Okay, need them to rebuild the stone tower. Man, those war drums do not stop beating. Do we have any more siege engines coming? Nope, I think we're good. Ah! 
Ah. Oh, that went down. Get those trebuchets. Nope, ignore the soldiers. I don't care about them. I need the siege equipments down. Get that. hear anything that sounds like trebuchets. I think this should be it. This, I think this is the last horseman there. Is that it? Missing anyone? Uh, I hope there's not like a single enemy so out there somewhere that I have to find. Okay, nope, there isn't. The Muscovites bravely held their capital in the face of an overwhelming Mongol onslaught. Oh. But now an even larger army. Oh, wow. <laughs> Running out of time, Dmitri ordered his army to hold back the Mongols long enough for Moscow's citizens to escape. Okay, all military units. Okay, everybody to the front. She's gonna just. Whoops. No, I don't. Sorry, just meant to do a quick. Okay, all archers and crossbowmen to the front. All right, everyone. Let's hold out as we long as we can. Do I have any siege? Can I build siege equipment? Oh, don't know why I didn't do that before. Okay.
Ugh. Siege towers. Dmitry and his men held the city, giving some of Moscow's citizens time to flee. But despite their steadfast defense, the Rus could hold out no longer, and the capital succumbed to the vast numbers of the Horde. Oh, that's too bad. Toptamish Khan sacked the city, plundering its riches and slaughtering any Muscovites that remained. No. Prince Dmitry had no choice but to take flight, abandoning his home. Bruce independence would have to wait for now okay mission complete not a victory not a victory because we kind of actually lost against the mongols Okay, so I think that'll be it for this edition of Age of Empires 4. I hope you enjoyed watching it. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And be sure to check out my other social media accounts in the description below. Until next time, this is Jason from 4 Gaming, signing off.